Okay, in this video I'm going to take a look at the uh, T-Fuel supply, the T-Fuel demand, and the T-Fuel inflation. And how all those things will work together and affect the price of T-Fuel. So stay tuned. Okay, we'll start by establishing what the official circulating supply of T-Fuel is. At the time of this video, it's 4,962,631,000 and something. That sounds like a lot of T fuel, but is it? Let's take a look at the demand side of things now. The estimated population of the planet is 7.5 billion people. If only one tenth of 1%, that's one out of a thousand, actually run an edge node, we're looking at a total of 7.5 million edge nodes out there planet wide now you divide the total supply of t fuel by 7.5 million edge nodes and you get a total of 667 t fuel per edge node now the entire supply of t fuel is now in the hands of those 7.5 million operators of edge nodes now I don't know how many edge nodes are currently up and running as of this video. I don't know that that's a published number, but I'm sure it's far less than the 7.5 million in my example. However, I do believe that the 7.5 million figure is potentially possible as people learn about the uh, edge node and, and how to go about putting one up. I'm just trying to run some numbers here to demonstrate something, so just bear with me. So just 1% of the total U.S. population of 325 million people, if that 1% puts up an edge node, that's 43% of the total 7.5 million that I'm using in the example. So I may be massively underestimating the total number of edge nodes that will ultimately exist when I say 7.5 million, but we're going to go with that anyway. So if the average edge node earns 325 T-fuel per month, in two months time the edge nodes will have consumed the entire supply of five billion T fuel. So the five percent T fuel inflation rate amounts to an additional two hundred and fifty million T fuel created per year. Those seven point five million edge nodes are consuming eighty million T fuel per day. So that 250 million T fuel created each year is essentially a three day supply. So if the edge nodes are holding on to their T fuel earnings, then the Theta network runs out of T fuel in just over two months. So where are the partners such as YouTube going to buy the T fuel that they will need to pay out to the edge nodes? I'm glad you asked. They're going to have to pay the edge nodes to get some of that T fuel. They'll buy that T fuel on the open market because the edge nodes, when the price is sufficient, will sell their T fuel into the market. And that's where YouTube and Hulu and whatever other partners will have to go and get their T fuel. So based on these numbers that I've given in this example, you know, the concern that I've heard asked as far as the inflation rate of the T fuel is silly when you consider because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing compared to uh, what's going to be moving out there. So I think that being concerned that there's 5 billion T fuel and that they're adding an additional 250 million a year, when you look at this example, 250 million a year is nothing. It's a three-day supply based on the average edge node earning just 325 T-Fuel per month. Somebody check my numbers, see if I've missed something somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Again, 7.5 million edge nodes in a world with 7.5 billion people, if anything, is probably a massive underestimation of how many edge nodes will eventually be out there. So... Who will run an edge node? Well, I think that the vast majority of people will do it just because they want to be a part of something 
uh, this game changing and they'll probably even do it willingly and absorb the you know 15 20 bucks a month that it might cost them in electricity to keep that computer running 24 7 others will do it only if they can earn enough money to at least cover the cost of doing it and still others will do it if they can make some amount of extra money over and above the cost of running the edge node so i think you know honestly that probably 7.5 million people running an edge node worldwide uh, is probably uh, an estimation that's on the low side it'll probably take a while to get there but i think we will get there and for now you know people just got to jump on board and and uh get in there you know even if it means an extra 15 20 bucks out of their pocket every month for the uh, additional electrical cost of doing it but i think this thing is is going to be a game changer and everybody that has the ability to do it should uh, jump on board and do it might even make a little extra money in the process so hope you enjoyed this and if you did hit that like button and uh, i'll see you in the next video If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.